This video looks at how you can find, quite simply, the gradient of a line, i.e. a chord, passing through two points on a curve. Now to find the gradient between two coordinates we use the formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now we know one coordinate which is a, so a is the coordinate 9, 12, so we know a coordinate x1 and y1. However, we don't have the full coordinate yet of b, we know it's x-coordinate, so I must find the y-coordinate of b to then apply this formula. So we know that for coordinate b, x-coordinate is 9.5, so I can find its y-coordinate by using the formula given. So y will equal 4 lots of root of 9.5. So if I get my calculator, and do 4 times root of 9.5, I get 2 root 38. I will leave that as a third. So 2 root 38. So coordinate B is 9.5 comma 2 root 38 and that is my second coordinate. So I can now apply the formula. So m equals the difference in the y-coordinates, 2 root 38 take away 12, all over the difference in the x-coordinates, so 9.5 take away 9. I can now put that into the calculator, so here we go, 2 root 38 take away, excuse me, take away 12, all divided by 9.5 take away 9, press enter, and press the S to D button, and we get 0 0.66 to 2 dp. So the gradient of the chord between A and B is 0 0.66 to 2 dp. Now, the final point here is that this answer acts as an approximation to the gradient at coordinate A. And if I wished to improve my estimation of the gradient at coordinate A, then rather than picking B to equal 9.5, I could pick another coordinate, which is closer than 9.5. So if I picked C to be X equals 9.25, say, and worked out the calculation again, that would be an improved approximation to the gradient of A. If I picked 9.1, that's better still, and as C gets closer and closer to 9, thus the gradient approximation gets better and better.